channel my name is Tamara and this is brown loopy TV a couple of facts about me is that I was diagnosed with systemic lupus in 2019 and fibromyalgia in 2021 after being misdiagnosed with all types of stuff everything but the child of God like tendonitis and myalgia sciatica just all types of stuff that I was formally diagnosed in 2019 I can sing. I can do a little ooh ah, uh, hold a note or two. I make t-shirts. I did have it as a business at one point, but I turned it back into a hobby thing because it was just too stressful. But I do have a couple of things under my sleeves. I'll make sure I let you guys know about that. On this channel, I'll be sharing my lupus experiences, how I manage my lupus, story time, and other things. And I'll also be doing just regular days in my life with me and my baby. I originally was going to do a Q&A situation. I did have some people text me questions so that I can answer them for you guys. But that was so cliche. I was just like, no, I'm gonna do something different. So what I'm going to do is give you my top five red flags of how I found out I had lupus. The symptoms that I had that I kind of like brushed off because the doctors were brushing it off. The first red flag symptom uh, was swollen lymph nodes. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's really painful. My neck gets really swollen and it's like a liquid inside that forms. And like if I press it down, the liquid like comes out and I can feel it in my jaw and it relieves the pain. Um, I've had that problem since I was a teenager. And my mom took me to the doctor for it and the nurse practitioner that was there was like, oh, she has the kissing disease and um, mono. She has mono and yada, 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 yada. And so we just kind of went with that, you know, took my medicine for the mono and that was that. Like I still had problems with it, but I just, you know, assumed that it was the mono. It goes again to being misdiagnosed. I guess nobody thought to be like, oh, maybe we should run her blood to make sure she doesn't have anything serious. The second red flag was bald spots. So I went to the army in 2017. And when I was discharged, I went to Montgomery and I was with a friend and she was taking down my hair. She noticed some bald spots and she was like, you have alopecia so I looked up alopecia and I was like dang I got alopecia you know just self-diagnosing myself not really knowing what the heck I was talking about over the years it just got worse like it went from bald one bald spot to three four bald spots to I was looking like George Jefferson okay so that is another red flag the third red flag is nosebleeds I don't have them as bad as I did when I first was diagnosed. It's like when I got diagnosed, um, my body just went crazy. Like it just went into overload. Like, oh, her brain knows she has lupus now, so let's just mess up everything. It, it was horrible. Like every day my nose was bleeding three, four times a day. Like I'm not exaggerating. I went to an ear, nose and throat doctor. They were just like, oh, you just have a lupus nosebleed would start helping it was me eating like spinach and broccoli like dark leafy vegetables is what started to slow it down like i have them every now and then like but at that point i was having them every day every morning i was getting up my nose was bleeding it was it was really bad the fourth red flag would be joint pain i should have put this one first i've been hurting all my life at one point um it was in 2019, summertime 2019. I could not get out of my bed. I had to take Tylenol every morning, every midday, every all day, every day. I was popping Tylenol like crazy just so that I can walk. I can function and walk. July 4th of 2019, I ended up having to go to the hospital because my nose was bleeding that morning. I could not move. Like we had to call the ambulance to get me to the hospital because I could not walk. Seriously, I called my mom and I let her know what's going on. She's like, you go to the emergency room. When I got to the emergency room, they gave me a blood transfusion. Something was going on with my blood. Like, I didn't have enough blood or something. They were saying, I guess from the nosebleeds, I had to get a blood transfusion. It's been the night. Well, 4th of July in the hospital, but my brother did bring me some food because he had to go. But joint pain, I have a walker. 
because it gets bad it gets real and the last red flag was is sun sensitivity i'm supposed to wear sunscreen every day even when it's cold or when i go outside i need to put on the jacket i, I do wear my jackets or something long the sun will eat me up like my car i need to go get some tint on it because if the sun is out that day it's i'm over with and the sun come out every day but you know i mean like out out like beaming even if you got your air blast then the sun is still beaming on your skin that kind of sun going to the beach girl i might well not even go but i have to put my sunscreen on or wear something like a cover up ass long sleeves it's horrible like i would flare up bad i do um wear black girl sunscreen and i was using equate i still have a little equate sunscreen on my keychain for emergencies if i forget to put my sunscreen on i'm not bougie when it comes to the sunscreen but the black girl sunscreen is soft on my skin and everything so it helps that's all i have for today guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video and come on over to brown loopy tv and become a brown loopy with me thank you for tuning in see you guys later